This is a circular polarizer filter. And I think it is one of the few investments that I think photographers and videographers actually need. There's all these new cameras and new lenses and everything, but this is one of those few things that is like an actual tool that you can't replace with better shooting conditions, better lighting, better camera, newer camera, whatever. It can do some really cool things that nothing else can really do. So let's see why. <laughs> So the last time I was at this spot, there was actually just tons and tons of old people sitting up here, nothing wrong with old people, but sitting up here in their cars, camped out in their lawn chairs with like 400 to 600 millimeter crazy lenses and stuff, but they were shooting way over there. There were, I think, eagles, but I thought this would be a good location to show you guys what polarizer filters do. I decided to go super minimal on the gear today, so I've just got one camera, one lens, and the tripod. And obviously, the polarizer filter. So this is without it. I'm gonna put it on. Check out that sky. I don't know how the science works, but basically it does a little bit of magic and it makes it to where you can see a lot clearer, longer distances. It takes away glare. It takes away refracted, I think, light. Your skies are more blue. You can see further. Uh, basically, it's just really awesome. <laughs> One of the most common uses is actually for movies. They'll use this on all the driving scenes to cut out glare on car windows. You might notice like sometimes you can see just perfectly clear at the actor everything else is reflective and it doesn't make sense how do they do that uh, basically they use the polarizer filter to where they can choose which part you can see through pretty neat i don't know what this place is but it's like an abandoned hotel It's $5 sushi day at the grocery store, so I had to stop and get some for a quick lunch break. Crunchy crab roll for the win. So one of the best things about these and why I can recommend them to everybody is they can range starting at only like 25 bucks to maybe around like 150 for like the super high end ones. Um, so probably within most people's price range for the amount of effect that it has on your images. So the reason I got this filter originally was for real estate photography making the skies look more blue. It's one of the only filters that I use. Um, I've got this one, I've got the ND filter in case I need it uh, on my EOS R right now. This is what I'm filming on. It's just behind the lens, so it's super easy to quickly adjust the ND, get your exposure right if you're shooting outdoors with a lot of light or just moving from location to location. I also use ND filters that have built-in polarizers, uh, so it's not adjustable, but it still works pretty good uh, for my drone. So that gives you those nice clear drone shots. You can see further, it's not gonna be as hazy, and it's just gonna look nice and vivid and sharp. Probably my second favorite thing to do with it is get rid of reflections on the floor. I've shown this on some other videos in the past, but basically if you're shooting interiors or product photography where there's glare that you need to get rid of, there's no way to get rid of it in camera or in post. 
you slap one of these filters on and suddenly you're able to just twist it and boom, there your glare's just gone. If you've ever seen photos that just look super, super sharp, no glare, whatever, and always wondered how people get rid of it, this is how. <laughs> so I'll link all these down in the description if you're interested in getting one, but I definitely recommend it. So you might have noticed a lot of it actually has to do with the angle that the light is coming across the air and then getting picked up by your camera. That's why sometimes it works really well, has a big dramatic effect, and sometimes it just maybe increases your clarity and visibility just a little bit, it kind of dehazes it. But we got one more example, I'm at a cool location, hopefully it works here. All right, so the last thing is gonna be water. So if you're doing any type of photography with things that are wet, landscape photography, wildlife photography, travel photography, you guys are gonna love this thing. So here's before and after. Water reflects so much light that this thing is necessary. Sometimes it makes your photos look better and sometimes it makes it look worse, but it's great to have this tool to have that option. You can see that water is just really, really bright. So yeah, pretty crazy difference. Super interesting filter, right? Um, one thing I forgot to mention, it does stop down your light just a little bit. So if you're going to use it for video, I mostly use it for exteriors or if there's lots of light indoors. But for photography, since you can do really slow shutter speeds and stuff like that, no problem. You can pretty much use this anytime. Uh, if you've got a glare, if you've got light that's too bright, you can cut it down. There's not really anything quite like it, but I think it's gonna be one of those pieces of gear that could be useful for literally anybody doing photography or videography. When the time comes, you're gonna be glad you had it. So anyways, I hope this video was helpful. If you liked the video, make sure to hit the like button. Make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel. You don't wanna miss out on future videos. And 